So shocking news coming out just recently, US life expectancy drops again, third year straight. And I'm gonna read this right in front of me here. 76.1 years of age, Americans born in 2021 can expect to live towards. So if you have a kid today, they're gonna to live to age 76. That is the lowest life expectancy since 1996. It's the biggest two-year decline, 2.7 years that has gone down in almost 100 years in American history. Your parents or grandparents, in many cases, could have a higher life expectancy than your kids born today. This is shocking things. Why is it happening? Let me do a quick little diagram to help you understand what happens when this hits the world. What your kids are gonna be exposed today, what you're getting exposed to today, what I'm getting exposed today, and how you can start combating this, why we get sick. When you mix heavy metals found in teeth, some videos on my channel about that, found in supplements, found in foods, if we're not paying attention to are there proper testing to remove heavy metals, to clean up our water, to clean up our teeth, these deposit and build up in the system. It's really rough on your heart. When we talk fragrances, if you have one of those houses where there's candles and Glade plugins everywhere, if you use a lot of perfume, you are taking in a lot of toxicity. If you are a grain eater, I believe it's not that it's a big gluten problem in our world that has been introduced, especially in America, in the last 20 to 30 years. Overseas, this is not a big issue. It's not like in the last 10 years, there's just been an explosion of the amount of gluten in products, but what has exploded is glyphosate. It's the herbicide being used on most all grain in America. So your bread, chips, crackers, tortilla shells, all ending up with glyphosate on it. EMFs now becoming a problem with Wi-Fi, 5G, and phones and devices everywhere. Are you taking any steps to block some of that out? Even like my family, we put our Wi-Fi on a timer so at least shuts off at night, getting a phone away from your head, blocking yourself from electromagnetic fields. Teflon, I've taught on this one for years. You can literally take the exhaust of Teflon when you're cooking with it from a pan. If you were to pour it into a bird cage, this was actually done, it kills the bird. There's a condition called Teflon flu. While you're cooking with a Teflon pan, breathing in the PFOA chemicals that come off of Teflon can actually give you the same symptoms as the flu. Another toxic building up. Plastic, a great movie called Plastic Paradise, shows you of all the little plastics from our toiletries to our everyday life of how much plastic gets discarded in this world and a lot of them containing BPA, estrogen and hormone disruptor. Those receipts that you grab at the grocery store are full of it. And there's actually simple tests that have been done of take the blood test levels of BPA before touching that, touch the receipt, and then retest. Shocking difference of how much gets absorbed into your body. Decreasing the use of plastic. I also read about that in my Living Good Daily book. Meat, antibiotics. The farmers of the world don't love this one. There are definitely farmers that try to avoid this at all costs, but if there's antibiotics given to that meat so it doesn't get sick, so it can get to market, those end up in your body. The primary source of antibiotics that go into your body that destroy your gut bacteria come from the meat that you eat. I teach a lot about this on all things meat. Fluoride water. Talk a lot about this in our dental teachings, but putting fluoride into the water was a step done to prevent cavities in people that never brush their teeth and have no dental help. But what is it doing to you who may take care of their teeth and doesn't have these anti-fluoride issues? Plus, it's not a thing that fixes the tooth problem. It's just there, fluoride in the water to try to slow down the cavity problem. So if you're just regularly brushing your teeth, doing some flossing and doing some dental care, you don't need fluoride in the system, which is one of the most toxic chemicals known to man. We need a touch of it in our body, but if we get too much, it can have a lot of effects on the system. Artificial sweeteners, when you combine it with that, and we have artificial sweeteners in the system. I teach a lot on this through our shopping tours and in our book. This artificial sweetener uh, has neurotoxicities. They excel, excite brain cells to death. This is your NutraSweet, your Aspartame, your Splenda, and all of the above. 
Veggie oils, any kind of vegetable oil introduced into the system creates congestion in the cells as do seed oils. I teach on them regularly because I think it's a bigger deal than sugar in America and what it does to your heart and your overall health. Fertilizers used plentifully on our crops, a lot of what we are eating, the chemicals of those, the residues end up in the foods. Blue light, when you combine that, the blue light exposure at night, keeping you awake, disrupting your sleep, some of you falling asleep with the TV on or the last thing you're doing is looking at your phone. If you don't have a filter on that, that blue light is overstimulating and burning out the adrenals, creating a lot of stress and the inability to handle stress. Processed foods, of course, and MSG, which is also another neurotoxin that excites brain cells to death. These are the big heavy hitters that potentially 20, 30, 40 years ago, it didn't exist. My grandpa ate whatever he wanted, he was fine. Well, he didn't spend 50 to 60 of his years in this cesspool of toxicity that is a major factor of why we're sick. You see, every cell in your body is like a bucket. And all of these toxins are vying for space in your cells. Healthy cells, healthy humans. Sick cells, sick humans. Well, these toxins get into the cells and they're competing with the nutrients, the amino acids that you need, the omega-3s that you need, the vitamins that you need, the minerals that you need, all of these things trying to get into the body and then there's a cesspool of chemical overload that your cell has to try to drain out. So if there was a hole in the bottom of the bucket, we could start filtering some of these toxins out of the cell. But in order to do that, you've got to properly unlock it. Well, it stays locked because of seed oils, because of vegetable oils, because of lack of antioxidants and detoxifying nutrients in our diets. And what eventually happens is there's so much chemical exposure going on that these chemicals spill over. And when they spill over and they enter the system, this is the explosion of autoimmune diseases and oxidative damage in your blood vessels and in your heart. This is the plaque buildup inside of your brain, dementia and Alzheimer's. This is the damage to the receptors of your insulin and your sugar processing in your body, setting you into metabolic syndrome and let alone bogging down your kidneys, your liver and your gut. So this spillover is what creates it. These are a lot of the things that I teach on of reducing the amount of it. And it happens one, through intracellular detox to get some of these things out of your cells and get them draining down here. And then extracellular detox to get those toxins out of you, get it outside of your body. So. We want to move those things down and out and then get them out of you. If you need help with this, I think the biggest place to start is starting to look at how you shop. So to start with this, all right, to not overwhelm you, it takes a while to really get healthy, right? But with our life expectancy going down, you've got to start doing something about your buckets. We've got to get them healthier. We've got to get the cells going the right direction. So I put a guide below for you and it's called Make Detox Simple. And it's gonna start walking you through all the things in your house that are adding up and giving you extra Teflon. So what kind of pans should we use? How do we eliminate plastics in your house? What do we use to eliminate EMFs and decrease the amount of exposure from our phones and our Wi-Fi? How do we start removing fragrances inside of the house? All of these broken down in a guide, even how do you improve your air quality with God-given plants and start removing some of this out of their air. We've got to start taking detox more serious. It starts by eliminating the toxins around you. Then we can start eliminating the toxins inside of you. So how we start around you is with that simple guide and with your foods. So the next video I put up here, I'm going to take you to the grocery store. I'm going to couple, show you a couple of the key hacks that no one's probably ever showed you to reduce the toxicity the herbicides, the fertilizers, and the damage that your produce can be adding to this bucket to get you draining better, to get more nutrients in, and to ultimately raise 
your life expectancy. So you're not only getting more quantity of years, you're also getting more quality of years. Please share this one and pass it forward. Check out the shopping video right here.